welcome back everyone harry here known as trade shop and bringing you today quite a, a good video we're going to talk about bitcoin when is the top coming in and not when but you know is this our last push what are we looking at a lot of people a lot of fud out there i see a lot of things firing and uh you know what are going to happen when stock markets crash and i'm going to run you through some few possibilities and my analysis from my you know somewhat experience and uh, just what i expect to happen and the scenarios that we could expect to go through and yeah so i want to start off with analyzing bitcoin you know we broke out of our range which is as i was saying yesterday continuation to my first target here at 65 437 when we reach there maybe a bit of sideways ultimately looking you know for that 70000 to be hit today we do have coinbase ipo so I want to see how this will impact the market. We might have a dump, yes. We might have the f a flash crash. Just quickly come down, flash crash to here, and then continue up and onwards because I don't see anything bearish on this chart. Daily clear resolution, weekly clear resolution. You know, it's just everything is looking, it's looking, you know, good, right? We can see that we're trending. Where's the top side Bollinger Band coming in around that 70,000 uh, area? so you know things are looking good uh bitcoin is i i don't see it stopping here i mean now we have this nice base here on the weekly and that's fifty five thousand, you right so we can keep going up until that base is you know practically broken and where do i see bitcoin coming in well you know i did always have this blx chart here that i've always i've had just put on log and you know we can see that we are retesting this area, continuing up and onwards. And I've shown you that this mid section here has been, uh, we normally see two, uh, two pullbacks and then the last push, right? And the mid section always has is like the middle, right? So we have one more push, two pullbacks, one more push. So we can see we've got that two pullbacks and we have one more push. I mean, just using a simple math uh, calculation, which is up here, not very simple, but <laughs> you can see that, you know, somewhat of a calculation here. I've come up with the, the estimation of 166,000. Do I think that will happen? Well, not really at the moment. Why? Just looking at how volume is, guys. You can see volume is not pushing the market how I'd expect. Now, no one knows if we're going to have a super cycle or not have a super cycle. I mean, if you look at here, we always had really big increasing volume here we're on decreasing volume which is not a problem in itself right i don't think that's a problem uh you know i really i i think that we can still keep trending but the thing is is now i, I am looking for a lot of people to front run this six digit number here at a hundred thousand right a lot of people are expecting a hundred thousand and bitcoin can reach a hundred thousand right but i'm expecting this last push to be the last push right I think that this is the last leg of this and I think, you know, we can easily reach those six figures and the last leg is normally the biggest leg. But, you know, that pullback could be just a super cycle. We could come back down here to 55,000, which to me is not a big issue at all. Just come back down, go sideways for a while and uh, continue pushing up and onwards, guys, right? I mean, this is the thing. We have to look at how the market's going to be. No one can predict the future. But what we have to look is that the whole economic uh, economic state, right? So looking at all of this inflation, the government will never let bonds and stock markets crash too far because then it loses the government's money and then people will not be able to spend money and uh, then all companies will start to go bankrupt and we'll have a major financial crisis which could end up in a huge collapse of empires, right? We could see a collapse of uh, many countries and their economies and this could pose a positive to Bitcoin, but I think the initial shock, you see, we have so many new people coming into crypto. They don't understand the asset and, you know, a 50%, 40% dump is going to send maybe a tumbling snowball effect where people just want to move into a safe haven. Now, what is your safe haven? Well, obviously gold and property, but gold, if you've noticed, has been correcting like crazy, right? I have gold on my Forex list, but gold has been in a downtrend for quite a while now right and uh you know it's due gold has always been you know that asset as you know everyone says that gold is god's money uh paper money is the bank's money and bitcoin is people's money right 
So people will automatically flood into property. I do see a huge increase in property demand as soon as the stock market starts to crash because that's due to happen. We are obviously in a bubble. Market cycles happen. It's pushing huge gains, right? But the governments will never ever let... Uh, will never let stock markets crash so much that it causes economic problems but what they will do is print more money and that's going to cause inflation and causing inflation is going to obviously have negative impacts and countries are going to go into debt and it's just going to be a whole mess so people are going to start moving to those safe havens such as gold and property but then what you're missing out is bitcoin right so very easily Bitcoin could become that safe haven and that could really be the push and the reason for Bitcoin to take over the whole financial system. And we can see Bitcoin becoming the number one asset and the safe haven and the new currency because, you know, if you look at history, currencies always change. Currencies always fail. There's no one currency in history that hasn't failed. I think the statistic is like somewhat above. You have to, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, please, guys. But, uh, you know, the thing is currencies fail after 100 years or somewhat that t type of time right they end up failing and i don't see why currencies won't fail again and new currencies will arise and what we have we have bitcoin and i think that you know this could be a huge market sediment but at the same time we need to get rid of those weak hands institutions will not inv invest in something that they don't believe in but you guys have to remember institutions can sell first of all and secondly institutions can short bitcoin and open short options that will be able they would be able to profit while it goes down and then you know they're going to profit while that goes down until it goes up but what you have to keep in mind okay yeah we could have that major correction they could profit. What are they going to profit into? I don't think they'll profit into the dollar if the stock market is crashing and stuff like that. I think most likely they're going to start profiting into more Bitcoin, right? And accumulating more until it ends. And this is, you know, we have to play it day by day, right? And every day is going to be a new day. Every day is going to be a new experience. And we're going to learn so much about the financial system. Speculating on what's going to happen. That's the biggest mistake people can make because then you're only living off speculation. Live of what you have in front of you. Now, in terms of taking profits, I highly agree with taking profits. No one has ever been in a bad position by taking profits. It's profits at the end of the day. No matter it's one dollar, no matter it's a million dollar, profits is profit. And as long as you're not in a loss, then you can't complain guys it's all about feeling comfortable trading markets it's all about feeling comfortable do what makes you feel comfortable if you feel comfortable and want to get the maximum potential i'm sorry but just you know people trying to get more than that they earn is crazy any of you here listening to this video which if you have you know thank you for listening but any of you here who's sitting at a 2x portfolio i know there's people who've made more money but these are only like hands full of people and like the youtubers and stuff like this these are the guys who are really but if you're sitting at a 2x portfolio that's unheard of no one's 2x their money as fast as you know people here in crypto and stuff like that yeah you could have had more gains but you're still at a 2x and you have to be grateful for that you know there's going to be many opportunities okay this was a huge opportunities but there'll be opportunities within this opportunity even though we're we're we're, we're crashing right you know, even not work, right? Even though if we, we have a crash or stuff, something like that. So I do think that Bitcoin has a push here. And I do think that it continues up and onwards. I don't see a reason as to why it won't. And how I'm going to play this, guys, is I'm not going to probably sell all my Bitcoin, right? I'm going to take alts because a lot of alts will suffer very, very, very heavily. And I'm going to put that into stables. And I'm going to trade Bitcoin if we do have a correction and make money on the way down to accumulate more Bitcoin for the long term future. Because I believe in it. I understand the asset and I believe in it. And, you know, how am I going to know when to sell some Bitcoin? I'm just going to wait for a lower low on the chart. I have not seen a lower low on the chart ever since the this. Uh, I can't say it on YouTube, otherwise it, it hinders the views. But ever since this uh, correction here right which we all know what caused uh until i see a lower low i won't i won't be selling you know and even if i i do see you know even here right where's a lower low 
you don't see any lower lows until I see that taken out yeah okay I'll be late right I'll be late but here's your technically your lower low right here to be actually that's your lower low right there right here so okay how much would I have missed a lot right I would have missed profiting you know how much is that 200 percent okay but you have to keep in mind actually to be honest uh, I would probably yeah okay I would miss 200 percent here but at the end of the day that's how it's going to work, you know, and that's how I base it off technical analysis. Okay, I missed 200%, but I also save running through another 60%, which is obviously different when you're going through the downside. But, you know, when we start having these parabolic pushes, I'm going to stop being cautious, especially about these areas here. You know, it's a little bit difficult uh, to say what's my plan, because as I said, guys, no speculation, but... I'm not calling the end of this bull run till we have a lower low. That's the first condition. And second of that, I'm going to play it by ear, right? I'm going to see day by day. Now, as for Ethereum, on the other hand, I do have my targets here that you can see we reached this big main target that I had done by calculations. And we're tapping right on that target as we speak here. Funny enough, where that target lays in is also on our normal charts here. If I go to the Ethereum chart that we have been looking at every day, we've smashed through. You see, we came, we knocked against this target here that I was telling you about. I was talking about this target. This was a look how good it caught this target here. We've been knocking against it and burst through. So since we burst through and we're up here and, you know, these high, I think we can continue higher, right? But, you know, according to one of the calculations I had, uh, we're at a major level. And I do think that Ethereum normally does get a push after Bitcoin, but I think we still have time, guys. I'm not worried. I'm not worried until I see something change. And, you know, there's no point of fudding. Just use the facts. There's nothing bearish about this chart, guys. Just go on a weekly, remove all drawings, and tell me what's bearish yet. There's nothing bearish. How can you be calling a top in this? You know, so... The thing is, altcoins, I do think there's a place and time for them. And I, you know, at the end of the day, I rather accumulate more Bitcoin. But I will start scaling out of alts when I feel it's time and when I feel I'm ready. And uh, to be honest, I never ever held alts. I would always swing them with profits I've made from early investments. I would just buy the dips sell after 50 percent 20 percent by the next dip and sell and you know we'll take this day by day guys and i'm very bullish so be happy guys be happy we're in a in a great space and uh this is you know what i think so to wrap things up on the lower time frames what am i looking for well i'm basically looking for that 65 to be hit some accumulation we can see here we're flagging up momentum on the 30 minute doesn't really matter one hour is relevant it's still holding up there so you know there is a lot of buying pressure at the moment and we can see that four hour stokes is <laughs> wow it's it's pretty heated up there it looks like it wants to cross down so we could expect some exhaustion here and some less volume maybe go sideways for a bit even the possibility to dump down here at 63 for uh four one five, which is fine. Also, keep in mind the Coinbase, Coinbase listing. I would like to see how that impacts the price. But looking at daily stocks at the momentum, I was talking uh, around this area here when we had that daily uh, momentum start to turn up, and I was saying how that looks great. And uh, now we're getting that continuation. We could easily have a test, and I was drawing this the other day where we could come back down and bounce off this zone here, which is very healthy, to be honest, and I would see as something quite good. I'm going to leave that drawing on there, uh, see if it plays out. But that's basically what I'm looking for here in Bitcoin. With that being said, take care, trade sharp, and until next time, peace.